Hi everyone, my name is Tina Yang and today we are diving into 11 super fun and interesting facts about Thailand and its amazing culture. But before I start this video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so you don't miss anything. This video will be super helpful for those of you who are traveling to Thailand or for those of you who are just curious about the culture. Let's get to it! Number one, touching people's head is very offensive. In the Thai culture, the head is considered the most sacred area of the body. It is believed to be the seat of one's spirits and should be treated with utmost respect. Touching someone's head, especially without permission, is seen as very disrespectful. It literally invades our personal bubble. This belief is deeply rooted in the Thai customs and Buddhist religion, which emphasizes on the respect for the human body and spirit. However, if you accidentally hit someone's head, Jail. Just kidding. Just apologize and move on. Number two, stepping on money is illegal. I was walking down the street, waiting in line for food, and I happened to step on 20 baht by accident. At first, I didn't notice until this lady just kept staring at me. Is it really illegal to step on money? If it was on purpose, yes, very illegal. You are showing that you are disrespecting the king, and also, it is very punishable by law. Number three, Red Bull was made in Thailand. It was originally formulated by Chalio Yudvitya. Yud. Mm, hold on. Chalio Yudvitya. In 1976, it was named Gating Dang, which in Thai means Red Bull. The drink was later adopted and marketed by an Austrian man. His name, which I'm not gonna try and pronounce, Dietrich Mateschitz. There you go, that guy. Number four, Thai people drink beer with ice. Now I know there will be some of you who go, Ugh, brother, ugh. And others will actually consider trying it. To me, it makes sense. Thailand is such a humid and hot country. When you're outdoors, you want your beer to last long. You don't want it to turn to warm beer, okay? Also, it can kind of dilute the beer for the people who just like the lighter taste. A good tip for you is if you're ever in a restaurant and you want to order some beer, you have to ask for no ice because they will automatically put ice. Number five, Thais must keep their head lower if next to anyone older. This tradition comes from the Buddhist beliefs, but also the cultural custom. It just helps keep things respectful and harmonious in the Thai culture. Here's an example. You gotta pretend that he's in the big bubble, okay? He has his own respectful bubble. You gotta walk around that bubble on the same level as he is. So if he's a tiny little old man, you got to be a tiny little old man with him too. If you guys are sitting on the floor, you need to go somewhere. It's best to just stand up and go behind him or you can't go behind him, you gotta go in front of him. Literally kneel down or crawl with your knees and you can pass him there. Number six, pregnant Thai women will always wear a safety pin on their clothes. This practice is rooted in traditional beliefs and superstitions. This is actually believed to be a protective charm. The pin is actually thought to ward off any evil spirits and provide protection for both mother and baby. I never knew about the whole pin thing when I moved here. So when I got pregnant, I went to work. This janitor lady bought me a bunch of cute little pink pins and it was so thoughtful of her. Also, I feel like wearing that pin sends that message to everyone, letting them know that, hey, I'm pregnant, you better respect my boundary, okay? Number seven, why instead of shaking hands? The traditional greeting here is why, like, <laughs> it's a versatile gesture to show respect, thank someone to apologize, or to bid farewell. Now, there are many levels of why. To the elders and superiors, like your Thai boss, hands are usually up here, usually higher around the nose, with a deeper bow like this. <laughs> to the people the same age or your friends, hands are usually lower with a slight bow, like this. <laughs> to the younger people or the people with lowest status, like for example, you are the boss and your Thai colleagues come in and why to you. You can just do a minimal why or just simply nod. They come in, they greet you, and you're like, <laughs> like that. If you're thinking of coming here and you don't know how to why, my best tip is to learn it, babes. You can go a long way in showing respect to the Thai people, especially the locals. The local Thais will appreciate it. Number eight, spirit houses. In Thai, we call them San Papum. San means shrine, Papum means spirit, god, or angel. You will find that many homes, business buildings, and even malls have spirit houses. Some places have tiny little ones, some places have 
humongous ones. Spirit houses are believed to provide shelter for the spirit. When a building is being constructed, it is believed that it can disrupt the spirits living there. So by offering them a house, they are given a new home, thus keeping them happy and preventing any mischiefs or bad luck. Now the location is very important of where you're gonna place your spirit houses. It has to be facing the sunrise. To keep spirits happy, regular offerings are made. Flowers, usually they're jasmine or marigold. Fruits, rice, sweet water, and red soda. I don't know what it is about red soda, but spirits love red soda. Candles, incense, and even figurines. Sometimes small statues of peoples and animals are placed in the spirit house as a companion, like a little friend. Number nine, the Thai national anthem is played twice a day, 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. Whether it be in public radio, TVs, or even in public schools, you know, government buildings. It's placed twice daily as a mark of respect and loyalty to the royal family. The protocol is once the anthem is being played, everybody stops what they're doing, they stand up and give respect. Of course, if you're driving a car and you hear the national anthem, don't stop the car, okay? Just keep going. Also, when you go to movie theaters here, you will realize that before a movie starts, the national anthem will come on. Everybody's gonna stand up and show respect. It's best that you do that too. This is for my ladies. Touching a plant while you're on your period is a big no-no. In the Thai culture, it is believed that touching plants while you're on your period brings bad luck and it can affect the plant's growth. Historically, menstruation was viewed in many cultures, including Thai culture, as a period of impurity and heightened sensitivity. Is it true? Yes. When Aunt Flo came to visit me, I was craving pot kapow. I was craving that so badly. I went out my garden, I picked out some chili plants, and I realized, shit, I shouldn't have done that. A week later, my chili plants died. Number 11, pointing at another person with your index finger is considered rude. Pointing directly at someone like this can be interpreted as accusing them. It can also be seen as disrespecting a hierarchy. This also applies to spirits. If you point at anything that is considered a spirit or a sacred object, you point like that, mm, you are gonna get bad luck. To avoid any problems, it's best to use a different gesture like with open hands or, you know, body movements to show that something's not right. That is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned a few things because I definitely did. If you have any ideas on what videos I should do next, don't forget to leave a comment down below so I will know. I love you, bye!